11. Thus, day by day, did Absal tempt Solomon, and by and by her wiles began to work. Her eyes, Narcissus, stole his sleep. Their lashes pierced to his heart. Out from her locks, a snake bit him and bit her. Bitter on his tongue became the memory of her honey lip. She saw the ringlet restless on her cheek, and the he too quivered with desire. His tears turned crimson from her cheek. His musky spot inflict, infected all his soul with melancholy. Love drew him from behind the veil, or yet withheld him better resolution. Oh, should the food I long for tasted turn unwholesome, and of all my life to come, should sicken from one momentary sweet. On the seashore set a raven, blind and from, bitter cistern, forced his only drink to draw, suddenly the pelican, flying over fortune's shadow, cast upon his head and calling, come poor son of salt and taste of sweet, sweet water from my maw. Said the raven, if I taste it, once the salt I have to live on, may for ever turn to loathing, and I sit, a bird accursed, upon the shore to die of thirst. And so we don't have to suffer because, oh, there's a good opportunity that we had um, in terms of something sensual, um, and we turned it down or something like that. Um, because certainly we can look at it in an Epicurean sort of way. Yeah, there's going to be a moment. But what is the cost of that moment going to be? 